Um, I have a high percentage of students who struggle with homelessness. All right, let's go. And as a community, I don't feel like we have a lot of resources for that right now. There's also just a lack of support for our students there, lack of involvement with parents. You know, these kids here all the time, they're gonna be, you're gonna go to jail or you're gonna end up being a teen parent. And, and then you can't blame them when, when it happens because when you get to know a kid, you'll see them and you will never know their story. Like these kids have amazing resili resilience. And when then you sit down, you talk to them, you start hearing like, just their background. You just wonder how that kid even comes into school smiling. Their teachers and everyone deem this kid as, oh, they're a troublemaker, they're bad. But when you hear their story, then you're like, dang, at least they're coming to school. Communities and Schools has been working for the last 17 years here in the Lubbock area to grow and to meet the needs of every student and child and family that needs us. Our work at Communities and Schools, it begins early on and we start as they enter, you know, into school and we work with them through different feeder schools and manage them all the way through the process. So when I say manage, really that's just mentorship, a relationship, setting goals for them. To see them succeed academically, you know, from kindergarten all the way through graduation. Part of our case management um, can include counseling for the student on a one-on-one -on -one basis where the student can come to the site coordinator with problems that they may have at home or they may have in school. The primary goals of the ACE program are to engage parents and families in the school process, to increase college and career readiness and awareness, also to improve academics, to improve attendance, to improve behavior and to increase graduation rates. That's our number one, that's our focus with the ACE program. A lot of students don't like talking to their parents and when they come to school, communities and schools is that safe place for students to come and talk about what's going on in their lives. We're here to support them and mentor them. That's something that I see that I don't think a lot of people know about. I'm able to help provide food bags on the weekends. Students are able to come into my office, grab snacks during the day. Um, sometimes they don't get breakfast. What Snack Pack is, the students that sign up on Fridays, we give them a bag which has, you know, some food that could get them through the weekend. You know, maybe they don't have enough at home. Things can get kind of tough. A parent loses their job or something. Just to make sure that they have something to eat, you know, for the weekend. The impact that communities and schools makes on a campus has been amazing. We've had campuses that are really struggling trying to keep kids to come to school or to stay in school once they're there. By us being able to come in and partner with them and reach those children at different levels, finding out what's going on, we've been able to reduce the behavioral issues, we've been able to reduce the truancy rate, and once they have CIS on their campus, we hear over and over from the administration that there's no way they could do without us because we're making such an impact in the community. And it really does take each and every one of us to make it work, you know, and to be able to reach the children in need. And that's exactly what we're doing every day. Whatever you give, a donation, a sponsorship, anything that you give stays right here with Communities and Schools at the South Plains. One thing that we did this past November was do a month-long community drive for Communities and Schools. And each week we um, had our customers come in and donate a different product, coats, socks, blankets, and then in return, we gave them you know, a Chick-fil-A sandwich or a free eight count nugget. Just something to thank the community for coming in and supporting communities and schools. Lots of ways to make contributions. Um, we have two awesome events that we have each year. In June, we have our Peace, Love, and Mud Volleyball Tournament, and we have different sponsorship opportunities there. Whether an individual is a competitive volleyball player or just someone who wants to come out for the one day tournament and have a great time. Second thing we do is our gala. That is our opportunity to bring the community together and to celebrate what we've done, but also it's our opportunity to educate people. There are so many students who don't have somebody who will just listen to them. 
You know, there are so many students who will just fall through the cracks if there's not that one person on that school campus who can say, hey, I'm here for you. I can be a mentor to you. Communities and schools has no limits. We can do whatever was necessary to get our kids the resources and things that they need to be successful. And so if we had our families and our communities behind us, we can really leave no kid left behind.